Hello everybody, it's Gabby Wonders, back with another video. Today is going to be a really simple video because I had to do this today anyway, so I figured I might as well film it. Today is just going to be how I set up an extra cage for gerbils. So the babies, which are Rose and Dimitri's babies, have to be in this separate tank now. Um, they are seven weeks old now, so they'll be going to their new homes. Um, there was four, but two of them have already found a home um, just recently. I normally don't, I just think that it's best to keep them until six weeks at least before finding them a home, but they did find a home just recently. So they are in a temporary cage right now besides this one, but it's plastic, which makes me a little nervous. So this is a five gallon fish tank. Um, I'm like comparing sizes to my 10. This is almost the same size as my 10. So I'm just going to show you how I plan to set this up because they're only going to be in this for three more days, three to seven more days, because I do have a potential adopter coming on September 1st to come and see them. Um, that, well, I have a couple appointments set up, but to come and see them, I figured I should probably set them up in a nice cage um, that they can go in or because I, I won't let them go until I know that they have a setup. But um, so yeah, this will just be like the temporary cage for now. And this is also the travel cage that I've been using to bring them to the vets. So I'm going to show you how I start. The first thing I do is have a pet safe bedding. So I've got Aspen shavings. Um, because I find that Aspen is less dusty than Carefresh. And it's a lot less expensive. So the first thing I do is I put an ample amount of bedding into there. So I have it cut open on the top so that I can just pour it in. And then just want to make sure that I can spread it out enough before I add more. Um, so I bought this bedding at Walmart. It was three dollars for this big bag. Well, not giant bag, but I think thirty liters. In the MRA. It expands to twenty liters. So it's only three dollars. So it's not a terribly large amount of money. And I like it a lot more than like the Petco and PetSmart brand. So I like to make sure that they have enough that they can burrow and all of that. Sometimes give them a little bit more. Because gerbils like to burrow. I make sure it's all spread out so that you can see that there's about half an inch to an inch. There might be about an inch in some places and they'll they'll burrow it whatever way they want to. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put their food in one particular corner because I like to always have it set up that way and then I'm going to start to decorate the cage I'm going to give them a little bit of a tunnel here and I'm going to stick it in horizontally like this and I'm going to cover it a little bit with some of this bedding not like a terrible amount just a little bit then I'm going to put a few more things in I'm going to give them a few pieces of this because I don't think this whole thing will fit in there because this is really, really big. So I'm just going to take it apart a little bit because I had put it together before the video started. So this will just give them a little bit of something to climb on um, and chew up. So it's just deciding how I want to put it. That's always the difficult part. So I'm going to stick it in there like that. And I'm going to move their food over here to optimize that wasted space. So now they've got that. And they're going to put their water bottle in. I always use the metal water bottle guards um, because I feel like they work significantly better. And it prevents them from chewing. So because this is expandable... I can make it so it's a little higher up. So let me just put the water bottle in. I don't have any water in this water bottle yet. Not until I put them in the actual thing. Here we go. And actually put that here. Now, I highly recommend using a water bottle holder if you've got gerbils. Um, because you know that they chew through the plastic water bottles very easily. So definitely a must have if you've got gerbils. So then I'm going to stick these little wooden things actually like this. Sort of like um, 
like a little decor for, and they can chew on it that way and it won't take up as much space and I just want you guys to know that they're not going to be living in a five gallon tank their entire lives um, this is just because they're still babies and because they're going to new homes soon it's just easier to do it this way because I don't have a cage that's all too incredibly large just yet for them anyway so I'm putting in lots of things from the chew to keep them busy um, you won't see it in this video but I'm cutting thing right in the top there to hang the wheel down from so it won't take up as much face square footage now I'm going to put in some paper towel rolls and I'm going to put them in in just a weird way because they got a little bit of wet when I was filling up the water bottles so I'm just going to stick those in a few places so that they can chew on them and then I have this little birdhouse that my niece painted for me with the soy paints that I have upstairs that I'm going to put in here as well because it's still big enough for them to fit in if they want to chew it or burrow in it so that's how I basically do it and then there's one last thing and I put some in this thing. I have some hay and I like to sprinkle the hay around just because hay is super super good to wear down any small animal's teeth and the gerbils really like to burrow in it I find. So I like to have a specific amount in certain areas for them so that they can do what they wish with it. Um, I don't put a whole lot in like I don't do it like you would do for the guinea pigs. I just have it so it lays around in certain areas like this. You can just see that I'm not making it so it's floor to, oops, sorry, from floor to ceiling covered like you would do with the guinea pigs to have. I just, they'll collect it and they'll burrow it somewhere so that they can chew on it and do whatever they want with it. So yeah, this is just their simple temporary cage. They've got two tablespoons of food in their dish. They've got all the little decor to chew on and they've got hay and aspen bedding. So besides the size, they've pretty much got everything they need, and I'll also probably move these two things later when I hang down the wheel, um, because the gerbils have a pretty small wheel, but it fits them still because they're babies, so I'll move these probably over here somewhere or something. So yeah, that's how I set it up. Thanks for watching.